You're watching Lisa Lab, where we give you a guided tour of the hottest homes for sale in San Diego. And with me next is one of my favorites, Terry wow. Moore. Thank you. Hey, the man is here. Back. It's good to see you. Again. I know it's been a while, huh? Since I hope our last it hasn't show. Been too long. Yes, I'm glad to be back. It's <laughs> I wonderful. hope the holidays were good to you. Far better than I deserve. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. And we're in Ramona today with some great units that you're bringing us. Great yeah. properties. Yeah, Ramona is kind of an interesting place. I've been an owner, I've been a landlord for more than 40 years. You're experienced. That's better than saying I'm ancient. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you. You could have said you're a dinosaur. I would never. So, um, one of my best clients mm -hmm. 25 years ago said, I want to buy something in Ramona and you can partner with me. And I said, Golly, I'm not all that excited. Well, the short story is we invested there and it was one of our three best investments. And Ramona is kind of an unrecognized secret. And it has some special advantages. And frankly, I haven't said this to hardly anybody in 25 years. There's been two people who bought 80% of the apartments in Ramona. There was Conrad Prebus. And maybe you know about the hundreds of million dollars he's given away to charities. Mm. Conrad <coughs> liked to buy properties that had a moat around them, like Warren Bennis, <coughs> like Warren Buffett. He wanted to have a special protection. And Ramona offers that. <coughs> Definitely. So with Ramona, there's several advantages. 80% of the construction in the last 25 years has been single family homes, and only 20% has been apartments. So it has 60% home ownership. Home ownership is important because it means that there's more stability there. Mm -hmm. There's lower risk with uh, home ownership, and that's a plus. Definitely. And Ramona has grown up in the last 25 years. They have wineries. They do bed and oh, breakfast. Oh, I've been there. Yeah. I've been to the wineries. They're great. <clears throat> So was that your table where I saw the wine cup and it was a beautiful young woman kind of resting on the floor? Was that? No, never mind. That's a, <laughs> that's a different story. Okay, so tell us about a surprisingly good zip code. What yeah. makes this area so, so special? So that's Ramona, and that's part of what makes it special. You can toss it to me. I'll, I won't be offended. <laughs> oh, water! <laughs> it's always nice to have friends who help. So with Ramona, there are... 18,000 jobs mm -hmm. 20 minutes away. There's 11,000 people who work in Ramona, about uh, 20,000 people who live there. There's 72,000 jobs in Escondido, so wow. 30 minutes away. So within 30 minutes, there's eight times as many jobs as there are workers in Ramona. Part of what makes Ramona special mm -hmm. is it's grown faster than North Park, which is pretty nice, or El Cajon or Escondido. Yeah. And also, Ramona has higher income than North Park, or El Cajon, or Vista, or Escondido, and lower uh, poverty. It's mm. a nice little spot. Definitely. So we've got four properties here, and their portfolio, somebody could buy one, or two, or three, or four. And in Ramona, these assets are newer than the county average, they're newer than what's available in North Park or El Cajon or Escondido. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to name all the neighborhoods. It's just better than average. Right. And the properties are priced to sell. The heirs um, want these to go out the door quickly. So the smallest um, property is 13 units. It has room for washer and dryer connections. Experienced landladies know that the most valuable nine square feet in any apartment are what could be the washer and dryer area. Mm. Guys don't know this because most of us don't do laundry. Most <laughs> of the ladies do laundry. I know for your generation, the guys are a maybe more a bit equal. more sensitive. Dinosaurs like me, we, we're used <laughs> to the way our grandfathers did it. You know, I wash, he folds. Something there you like go. that. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, but washer and dryer connections already exist in two of the four buildings. In one of the buildings, it could easily be added. And washer and dryer, in unit washer and dryer, can be worth $200 a month. Wow. So these four properties not only have better unit mix than average, 90% mm. of the units are two and three bedrooms, 
but also they're newer than average and they're in better condition. My client, partner, friend who recently passed, she upgraded all of her properties. Some of them she spent $6,000 a unit, some of them she spent $30,000 a unit. Okay. But she made massive improvement and so all the properties are already better than average. Doesn't mean they're perfect, it means they're better than average. Mm -hmm. So earlier I said something about pricing. The yes. biggest property, Ramona Mountain Valley, at the rents that it's currently collecting with new taxes is probably going to be in the range of a 5% cap rate. Okay. So I'm talking jargon, and if you don't own apartments, that doesn't mean much, but essentially it says a lot of bang for the buck. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got four properties. You could buy one or two or three or four. Two of the properties are across the street from each other. There's 40 units on Montecito across the street from 20 units gotcha. on Montecito. The smaller number of units is actually on the bigger parcel of land. And then about a mile away, there's a 13 unit and a 14 unit, both built in the 90s. So this is the biggest property. That's Ramona Mountain Valley. Mm. And it was a density bonus law passed in October 2019. And the density bonus law says that in apartment buildings, you can convert non-residential space and get two more units. So that started out being 38 legal two-bedroom and three-bedroom units. And because of the new state law, that can become 40 rent checks. And oh, by the way, by sure chance, they happen to be getting 40 rent checks now. Wow. Once upon a time, the office area got converted into two two-bedroom, two-bath, or two-bedroom, one-bath units. Gotcha. So is there opportunities to add more units? On all four of these, it appears to me, the density bonus law just passed in October. And we don't know exactly how it's going to be interpreted by the courts, but essentially what it says is they want more density throughout the state. And gotcha. on single family home neighborhoods, my guess is we're gonna get about 2% more density. And I think in apartments, it's because you're getting about 3% more mm -hmm. density. If you have garages or carport, if you have garages, or laundry rooms or community rooms, the law says they can be converted to two units per parcel. And all of these have enough space and they either could get garages or it wouldn't be hard to do that. They have community rooms could be converted. So they're priced right now and because of the density bonus law, they can have more income coming in. Okay. And all of them have already been upgraded. Now there's one other thing that I'll tell you about this. This is a coming soon. Right. This is advance notice. That's real estate talk for saying, if you want information, I need to serve you. I would be your broker. We will later expose these to the full market, but we're gonna have an advance notice. We're gonna have a coming soon. We're gonna have a preview. And this advance notice means you contact me, I'll give you information on all four properties. And if we make a deal, that's great, and if it turns out that we don't, that's okay too. Yeah. Later, it will be um, available for uh, all the uh, other agents, but it is a, a special feature, a special timing. Okay, great. Well, thank you for being here today, Terry. You brought us a really great opportunity here. We've got four buildings in Ramona ready to go, and you said that uh, you have the opportunity to to purchase one, two, three, four, so many options. Perfect. Yeah. Good to see you again. Thank you. You too. We'll see you next time. See you. Hooray. <laughs> see you next time, Terry. That was Terry Moore uh, um, with some properties in Ramona. Ramona is an unrecognized secret. You got 18,000 jobs 20 miles away. Uh, these properties are priced to sell. You got four. The smallest is 13 units. Washer and dryer and units in two buildings. 90% of the units are two bedrooms. Ramona Mountain Valley is the biggest building. Then all four buildings have the opportunity to make community rooms converted into other units so you can even get more income.